Hi, my lovely people. Welcome to Messy Monday. Baby, Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. And that's what we are here to do. Don't go out of the way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Baby, when I tell y'all Target, when I tell y'all Red Lobster, when I tell y'all any restaurant, Best Buy, wherever they go on City Trends, once Peach and the crew comes in, they turn it out and it ain't never gonna be the same way it was once they left. Baby, let's talk about it, okay? Well, it's Messy Monday, so we got to catch up. Now, this is where we're going to start. Peach does all these videos and she's out shopping. Her main thing was Target, right? She tells everybody, look, this is a mom. I got a husband, seven kids. She dropped the other kids off at after school daycare camps and everything else. And so it leaves her with Gregory and Choice, okay? Now, while well, they're at uh, Target and they're having a wonderful time, right? She's showing uh, holiday pillows, Valentine gifts, all this stuff that Wood ain't thinking about buying her, ain't never bought her, ain't never gonna buy her. Then she shows Gregory and he's over there and he's doing TikToks, he's dancing, he's bouncing around, he's bebopping, he's stiffing it all up all over the place just to, you know, get more subscribers and make things look good. In the meantime, in between time, right? She says, we went to Target because we needed to get Mr. Teddy some clothes and some diapers. So she has choice with her. As she's filming, okay, all these pillows and whatnot, at the end of one short, she says, to uh, Gregory, where is Choicey? Is he over there by the underwear stimming? Then in the next one, because people caught what she had said when she's showing, uh, you know, pillows and mugs and throws and whatnot, people are in the comments saying, what do you mean? Where is he at? How do you not know where your child is? Why are you not keeping up with your child? Then she says, uh, guess what, y'all, from uh, letting y'all know, I know where he is. He's in the store, and he'll be just fine. He just is having a moment. And she goes on to show the pillows. So people had a lot to say. You know, they're like, wait a minute. There's, you know, always because there's the peach patchers who have drank the Kool-Aid and are, you know, mind boggled. You got those ones over there that are saying, oh, well, you know, he's 11. He's fine. He's in the store. She knows where he is. She knows what she's doing. Absolutely uh, incorrect. Absolutely incorrect. First off, someone can be 11, but if they're special needs i'm pretty sure that his whole mind and thought process is a lot younger than 11 years old seeing as though the way you know he acts and he behaves and things of that nature we ain't gonna go too much into it because y'all know what i'm saying right but even if i have an 11 old child that is you know fully functional and capable of doing whatever that anybody else can do i'm not gonna let my 11 year old child just wander around the store without me knowing where they are she's the type of woman that she's got her purse in the car and she's walking away from her purse so if she's not keeping an eye on her kids and her purse and herself then we can't expect very much from her that's number one number two if you say oh he's probably by the underwear and he's probably stimming but he'll be okay that means he's having a fit right that means people are looking at him. People are judging him. People are thinking things about him. He could possibly be tearing the store up, uh, damaging items, just making a whole mockery of everything. As a person who has a special needs child, you will almost think that you would be tending to them and more than being worried about all of these Valentine's Day pillows and throws and rugs or how your son getting in these videos to dance with your son so y'all both can look a hot mess and make a coin off YouTube. That shows you where her mind and her uh, loyalty lies. It's all about money, right? It's all about content. So she can do what she wants to do while her child is over here doing whatever. And I'm going to just say this. I ain't here to talk about the kids. We talking about the parent and the lack there of parenting. When you go out to eat and you let your child make a huge mess when you go and you show that when your children sit down to eat at your dinner table and your table and your chairs are completely destroyed you have no home training you're teaching no home training for them so it doesn't matter if they're in the public or if they're at home they're behaving the same way so that lets me know you have lost control of the whole situation your lack of parenting is letting everyone see just how trifling everything is and i'm sorry it has to be said i'm one of those people i hate to go to a restaurant and sit down and then you have that couple or that person that has that child that's just slinging food around being all loud you can't even talk to the person you're eating dinner with being uh 
uh, running around and doing all this other stuff. And in this case, she has a lot of children doing that. We've seen the younger ones doing that. We've seen them eating, flopping food around, jumping around, running around. We've seen choice stemming in stores and in restaurants. And everyone in her comments and her peach patch want to tell her it's okay. No, it doesn't matter what age they are. They're children, okay? They need to be looked over. It is mighty, mighty funny that you'll go to a store and you'll stick right next to Gregory McKay, who is old enough to actually tend to himself other than tending to your younger children why it's because of content okay it's because of money it's what he can bring in and what y'all can film while y'all are out in the public she doesn't like to film in her home because we know her home is filthy if you looked at those chairs and you seen all them stains then guess what you know that home is filthy and that ain't no tea that ain't no shade that ain't no nothing that's just the truth so she tries to get as much tick tocking and bebopping done while she's out and about and i'm gonna say this shame on her she should have paid attention to that child more because he needs the more attention than the older one baby whoo that was a lot to say so i'm gonna see y'all in the comments and see what y'all think about it toodles